In a surprising twist I don't think anyone has expected, Rockstar has acquired CFX.RE. If, if you think that sounds familiar, well, what have I told you? That is what all of you guys probably know as the 5M third-party client. Yes, Rockstar has bought the roleplay servers for GTA 5 on PC. Apologies ahead of time if I sound a little bit weird. I uh, have a very sore jaw right now and I'm not entirely sure why. But anyways, back to my point. So, this has a lot of people just out and ready to praise him like a puppy, but I'm going to be completely honest here. I am very concerned about this. Because if you guys remember, a few years ago, Rockstar has attempted to take this uh, client down. It was met with immediate backlash, and they backpedaled on it. They decided they weren't going to do it. And instead, a bit later, they updated their uh, TOS to include, like, you know, role play servers like this. They made a whole deal about it where they were just gonna like straight up allow it finally. And then comes this. Like I said, I don't think anyone really expected this, knowing Rockstar's history when it comes to modding. Like, you know, as a payday player, I think I can uh, wholeheartedly say that mods have the potential to make or break a game's life cycle. When players have the tools they need, they can seriously expand a game's potential and lifespan by making stuff purely out of passion. And while I myself am not typically a fan of roleplay stuff, especially in GTA of all games, I do understand the appeal. It's something that a lot of people do enjoy. And I've seen what servers look like on 5M, and they are insanely detailed sometimes. Like, I've seen some shit in 5M that you'd imagine would be really fucking cool in GT Online, but you also just know it will never happen. But here's the thing. Again, this is Rockstar we're talking about. Remember the uh, Definitive Edition for the Trilogy? Yeah, remember what they did before they launched that? Let's just say there's a reason I am very, how you say, cautious about this. In fact, I think this is a terrible idea because it just gives Rockstar even more control of something that they have already run into the ground, which is this game's modding community. So forget me if I'm not all like suddenly excited about this, but I just... I don't like this. It's very sketchy to me. And I would like to be proven wrong. I hope I am wrong. But I just know there's going to be some catch to this. Like, they might throw microtransactions uh, into the mix. They might pull an EA and just have 5M as a whole just shut down, basically, since they own the rights to it now. They might just completely let it go and basically let it devolve because they promised resources in this case and if they don't deliver it well they're basically just shooting them in the foot the point is I feel like there's got to be a catch to this I don't know what that would be so I'm just not going to be completely against it for now but I am also very concerned with why they are doing this because, if I recall correctly, 5M was started because a lot of players were dissatisfied with what Rockstar has done with GTA Online. And they wanted to expand it themselves. They basically pulled a Thanos. They were just like, fine, I'll do it myself. And a whole bunch of people got together and they did just that. Not only did they expand on the idea of GTA 5 and Online, they basically brought up a whole new platform where people could create stuff they wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. You know, makes GTA less like 
well, GTA and more like something like Roblox or Minecraft where it basically becomes a platform more than it is a game. And I think that's awesome. Creativity should be encouraged. And I really hope that's the route Rockstar decides to go. But we all know Rockstar's history. They hate modders. And no, I'm not talking about those little cunts who show up in lobbies and like drop a bunch of money and RP on you on PC. I, anyway, that's besides the point. The point is they hate people who flex their creativity in these games, even though, like I said, it has the potential to add a new life to it. it happened with Payday. Happened with, I believe, The Last of Us. I've seen some mods for Spider-Man when it was ported to PC. Mods can seriously add to a game's value. And I think it's important for devs to remember that. But you can't control everything someone makes in a game in terms of mods, but is that really just the beauty of it? Just the endless creativity? I don't know. But... I just find it so goddamn sketchy how now all of a sudden they seem to be on board when before they were taking down modding forums left and right. I just find it funny how now all of a sudden they're doing it, especially after the launch of what may arguably be the worst DLC since Arena War. So do I, do I like this? I mean. Let me play it like this. If it was Overkill doing this with Mod Workshop, actually, no. I can't even say that because I believe they have. If I remember correctly, Mod Workshop was sanctioned by Overkill. Like, they were basically given the green light to do whatever the hell they wanted. And I know it's not just uh, Starbreeze and Overkill that does that, there's tons of devs out there who encourage people to mod their games. But the thing is, we're not talking about those devs, we're talking about Rockstar. I'd feel a hell of a lot better about this if Rockstar didn't have a history of just taking down any form of uh, quote-unquote competition. And that competition is literally just people who are trying to add more value to their games. So, yeah, don't, don't fall for this this quickly guys it's the point I'm trying to make here I guess would be that like try to be positive about it I guess but be very fucking cautious because I just do not trust this for a second knowing Rockstar's history with mods but that's it for now let me know what you think in the comments do you think this is a good idea do you think uh, something bad will come out of this or so what do you think it's gonna be but that's it for now. I'm out.